In this series, we're going to take a look at how to use WordPress to create a realty site or a site for listing any kind of property for sale. We're going to be careful to separate the theme from the content so that you can build something that you can use for years while still being able to change the design around it. This is going to be a fun series and not too complicated, so I hope you'll join me as we build happy homes for happy people. In this session, we're going to start out by making our realty site look a little more like a realty site. It doesn't really right now. We're using the 2014 theme, which is the default for WordPress. So let's pick something different. We're going to use the Make theme again. And it already looks a bit better. But let's use the customizer to make it look even better. Under general, I like full width and the sticky label is fine. Style kits are only available if you purchase the theme. I'm happy with the background and the fonts and the colors at the moment. Let's go to header. I like the navigation below. Now they'll go on the right. Here we are. We're not using the header bar at the moment. Before we choose text color, let's put an image in there. There we are. Now if we go to the bottom of this section, we can say we don't want the search field in the header. Now we can see that guy's face a bit better. Let's change our text color to white. And then let's go down to site title and tagline. We can set the site title to white. There we are. Let's make a better tagline. There, that's a bit better. So it looks better, but we still have a blog post here. So I'm going to save and publish this. Close and go over to Pages. I'm going to get rid of the sample page. We're going to set up a static home page and a static blog page. Then, under Customizer, we can go down to Static Front Page. For our front page, choose Home. And posts page, choose Blog. There. Let's take a look at the home page here. There. Now it looks a lot more like a realty site. We have an attractive home in the background. We have some happy people in the foreground. Looks like our nav could use a little help, but we could tweak the design for hours and hours. We'll leave it the way it is for now. And in our next session, we'll start putting in some content. In this session, we're gonna install our listings plugin and take a look at some of the options. The one we're going to use here is free on wordpress.org called Easy Property Listings. When I first started reading about it, I almost didn't choose it because it's actually created for listings in Australia. But after reviewing it quite thoroughly, it looks really nice, even for listings in the United States. Presumably, it would work anywhere. And it's a very long list of features, which I'm not going to read through here because we can go over them in the future sessions. It does also have a number of add-ons that can be purchased. We'll take a look at those later on. Let's install it and get going.
And here we are. It says, Welcome to Easy Property Listings 1.1.1. There's some excellent information on what we need to do first. Here are the supported listing types. Property, residential, rental, land, rural, commercial, commercial land, and business. Here are instructions on how to add our first listing. They point out that for the listing title, you probably should use the address of the property. There are some instructions here on how to add galleries, and then how to make your galleries look nice. What's interesting is the realtor is an author in the blog, so we're going to set one of those up first. But here it shows there are some short codes that we can use. template pricing and home open label options, and there are some great widgets that come with it. Author profiles, and then there's a way to get support, both free and paid. So first, let's create a realtor. We'll make this realtor a property lead. There. Now, under Easy Property Listings, let's go to Settings. For now, I'm just going to do Property. We can choose our currency, and as you can see, there are quite a few options. We like the dollar before, we like a thousand separator of a comma, decimal separator of a dot. The location label, we want to call this city, and we'll leave debug off. We're going to skip the bond amount display. Automatically display gallery of attached images on the single property page. I'm going to say yes to this, but I need to come back to it when we actually put a gallery in. Number of columns on the property image gallery, I like three. And the number of columns on the property features, also three. Excerpt word length for individual listings, we'll leave it 10. We'll make this one city and zip code. We'll leave this home open, and for this one we'll say price not available. There, and save changes. Now you can see here that we have a property option. This wasn't there before. Once we enabled it in settings, it appeared. Let's take a look at add-ons real quick, and then we'll come back. The first extension option here is actually all of the extensions for $500. That's $50 per extension for 10 of them. That's not too bad, but if you only need one, it might be worth getting just one. There's an option to add awards and achievements. This would be good for awarding realtors. There's a business directory, listing templates, testimonial manager. Advanced mapping is pretty cool. If you have multiple listings, that can be really slick. Staff directory, location profiles, a feed sync, which is great if you're in Australia, and then some other options here for realtors. In our next session, we'll start entering some properties and see how they look on the front of the site. In this session, we're going to start entering some properties.
city is actually a taxonomy. So we will be able to enter our properties into this city. All listings should show none right now. But we can already see some cool things here. We're going to be able to see a featured image and the address and the listing details, price, status, agent, and date. So let's add one. I found here a charming little farmhouse in northern Michigan. So I'm going to grab the address here and make it the title. There. This doesn't look right. Let's change our permalinks here. Change it to post name. I'm going to publish this the way it is. There. Now we get a much better permalink slash property and then the address. Then we have here a large description area. Let's see what we have for a description. There, now we have a nice description. For city, I'm going to put in Copemish. I'm going to skip excerpt. I don't want comments. We'll come back to author here in a few minutes. Let's come back to the sidebar here. We'll say yes, display the address. There's our number. And let's see what the zip code is here. There. Now we press this and we get coordinates, which are great for Google Maps. Now let's put a price in. It says it's 69.9. Something cool is it will tell you you are not allowed to have a comma there. I'm not going to put in any price text. There is no auction date. I do want to dis display the price. And there's no under offer. Not house and land. And I'm not going to put in a sale price. All right, so let's come back to our listing details. We'll put in a heading here. Our listing agent, Steve Gates. Property status is current. Authority is house category. We're going to leave it at house, which as you can see, there are many options. And unique ID. In America, we have MLS numbers. And here is our MLS ID. We're not going to make it featured, and we're going to leave off the inspection times. Let's publish this as is right now. And then in our next session, we'll take a look at listing features. In this session, we're going to continue inserting our first property. Over here on the right, I'm going to set a featured image. And this is exactly like every other featured image in WordPress. We'll choose that one.
There. Now, let's take a look. We need bedrooms and bathrooms. We have four bed, one and a half bath. Ah, it won't let us put in one and a half. So I'm going to put in two, but only one toilet. Now let's see if we have a garage. There we are. We have a one-car detached garage. So we'll say one. It is not new construction. No pool. Let's check for air conditioning. We have no search results there for air conditioning, so no air conditioning. No security system. All right. Let's look at our land area and the building area. The lot size is 0 0.25 acres. And the building area is 1,700 square feet. There we are. And we can tell from the picture here that it is fenced. And then we have the additional features here. And I'm not going to go through all of them. They're fairly self-explanatory. We'll just pick some. There's a remote garage, no secure parking, no gym. Yes, there are floorboards. We'll say there's a fireplace. There we go. Now let's go back up and see if we missed anything. Looks good so far. So let's update this. And now let's view our listing. There we have it. 16,919 First Street, 69,000. Four beds, two bath, one parking space. If we come down, there's a very nice large picture. There's some property details. The description, property features. We have one image here, and that's because we have a featured image and we asked them to automatically make a gallery. In a moment, I'll show you how to add more pictures to that gallery. And here we have a map. The real estate agent is still admin. We'll take a look at that in a little bit too. Now let's go back and add a gallery. Now the instructions said to make a gallery, we go to Add Media and Upload Files. And I'm going to choose all of these. There. Now I am not going to insert into Post. The mere fact that I uploaded these images while editing this post, attaches these images to this post. So now I'm simply going to close this, hit update, we will view the listing again. And there's our gallery. Now at the moment, all it does is take us to the full-size image. In another session, We'll install a nice plugin that makes the gallery behave.
in a much more attractive manner. So there's our first listing. Next, we'll take a look at some ways to make it a little more attractive. In this session, we're going to make the gallery work a little more nicely, and we're also going to fix how the author looks. We're going to start off by installing a plugin called Lightbox Plus Color Blocks. A lightbox is one of those shaded pop-up windows that isn't really a window, but shows a picture inside it. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Now, there's a link here to settings. We're going to make some settings. Because the theme I'm using is written in HTML5, I want to choose that. I also want to hide about Lightbox Plus color box. So I'll save all settings there. Then down here at the bottom, this is very important we want to use for WordPress galleries. Otherwise, it'll only work for its own little galleries. So we'll save these settings. Then we want to look at size because we don't necessarily want to open these images full size because if you upload very large images, they'll be too large for the browser. So I recommend 800 wide. We'll put in the PX just to be safe. Let's save all settings. There. Now let's reload our listing. And you can already tell things are a little bit different because there's some padding between here. So let's click. And there we are. And then you just click to go to the next one. You can flip right through them. And when you're done, down here at the bottom, it's a little X. And there we are. So for our next trick, let's make our real estate agent look better. Let's go to Users. We're going to edit our Realtor, Steve Gates. We want to change it to Author. And then I'm actually going to put in a real email address for me. And then we will edit our listing and you can see here it looks quite nice in the WordPress admin here's our address and image details price status agent etc so let's edit and now we can choose Steve Gates we will update. And there we are. Now the image is actually my Gravatar. If you go to Gravatar.com, you can create an account there, and it's associated with my email address. That's why I put in my real address. If we go back to our author, and edit again, you go down to the bottom, there's some additional information. And now you can see how that information appears on the site. So here we have a complete listing. The address, price, some icons to indicate, 
nice large image, property details, description, some features. The features area would get very long if I had checked many more things. A nice gallery, a nice map, and the realtor. Next we'll talk about how to manage multiple listings at the same time. So here we have our Realty website, and we have a property on it, but it really doesn't look like a Realty website right now. Let's do what we can for the home page. I'm going to choose a blank canvas. There, let's save this and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Now, let's put something in the navigation to help us find our listings. We will make a brand new navigation. And in it, we'll put our home. And then we also want to make a link to our listings. Let's go take a look at our single listing here. Here's the home we have for sale. And here is the address. Slash property, slash, and then the slug of this post. We simply take that off. Here we have an archive. So we actually want to make a link to this page slash property. We'll call it properties. There. We will put this nav in the primary menu location and save menu. And now, here we have home and properties. Now, if we had created rentals in our plugin, we would want to make a link to rentals here also. Something we didn't look at at all earlier, really, was the archive page. Here's the title, properties, and then it's going to list them in order. Here's the beautiful farm home with just the beginning of the information. The address, which is a link to the post. Information about bedrooms and bathrooms and the price. This makes for a really beautiful listing. In our next session, we'll take a look at putting some widgets in the sidebar to help us search for and promote individual properties. In this session, we're going to take a look at some of the widgets that come with our listing plugin. Let's take a look right now. Let's do search first. We're going to put it in the footer. We'll call find a home. Property type, residential property is our only option because that's all we've enabled right now. And then status, we'll choose any. And I'm going to leave the house category. So now let's hit save. And here it is in our footer. City is limited to the cities that exist. House category, price, bedrooms, car spaces, bathrooms, etc. Let's choose Copemish and say find me a property. And there it is. It's not quite as exciting when we only have one listing, but it's still pretty cool. Next, let's take a look at the listing widget. 
And I'm going to leave the title off this one. Property type, property status, similar to the others. Display style can be image, image only, or list. I'm going to choose image. And for the size, I'm going to choose 300 by 300. Icons are for indicating beds, baths, etc. Uh, number of properties doesn't really matter right now because we only have one, but you could list many. And then there's properties to skip. So you could skip the first several. We could show only featured if we wished. We could show only the headline if we wished. And this overrides the property type. And then we could choose random order so that we wouldn't get the same one all the time. Let's take a look at that. And there we are. Now if I had several dozen homes listed here, I would probably set it to show one ordered randomly. So every time you reloaded, you'd see a new listing. Now at this point, I would probably put in footer 3 a text widget with the address of my realty, if it were real, but it's not. And that would nicely round out our footer. Let's go ahead and put a title on this widget and see what it looks like. And there we are. Now let's see what it looks like on a single page. That works pretty well. And then let's see what it looks like on a property listing page. That looks pretty nice as well. So here we have some excellent tools for helping your users to find the listings that you've created. Now, of course, if you don't like the way this particular site is designed, you can easily choose a different theme because the content here is not tied to this theme. It's tied to this plugin. And so you could do a complete redesign and keep all of your content. Thanks for joining me as we built this Realty site. With a combination of an excellent theme and some excellent plugins, it was actually pretty enjoyable. Let's do a quick review. We started out by using the free Make theme. It's very well coded so that your site will look good, both on a computer and on a mobile device. There is a paid version of this theme that gets you some extra features if you'd like. Then we added in Easy Property Listings. This is also a free plugin that also has some paid add-ons. We didn't need any of the paid add-ons, but feel free to check them out. This plugin allowed us to create a full-featured property listing system, and it did a very good job. Then, to help dress things up a little bit, we added in Lightbox plus Colorbox. This made the galleries look nicer. And in the end, we got a fairly attractive website, that allowed us to show off some properties that we had for sale. Right out of the box, it looks quite nice. If you wanted something more unique, something more custom, it wouldn't be that hard for a developer to adjust the look and feel of this. It also came with some excellent tools for searching for various listings for sale. Something I want to stress again is the separation of the design from the content. The theme we used didn't have anything to do with listings for sale. And the plugin we used for the content didn't ask us anything at all, really, about how the content should look. We put them together and they took care of themselves. And now in the future, if you want to change the way this looks, you simply get a new theme and all of your content remains here. This is one of the values of having separation between your content and your theme. Once again, thanks for joining me. 
and I hope you come back for the next series.